plutonium, the key ingredient in nuclear bombs. This plutonium was stolen, gram by deadly gram, from a German nuclear power plant. My organization, the United Nations Anti-Crime Organization, responds to nuclear terrorism. So, when Karl Leitzig, a German physicist, used this stolen plutonium to construct two nuclear bombs, his creations became UNARCO's nightmare. Dr. Leitzig's gadgets, as we call them, utilized components smuggled out of the former Soviet Union highly restricted components supplied by a renegade Russian general and assembled under his supervision with the utmost German craftsmanship. You see, the Russian general needed two bombs to change the course of world events, and Dr. Leitzig needed a job. It was the ideal partnership until... <laughs> Benin, your Soviet garbage. I am irradiated. Your neutron gun, I was testing it and it ruptured. And the bomb? Hm. What about it? They're going to pull a lot of overtime. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't release your car without agricultural inspection. Yo! Radio for clearance now. Okay, let's go. Control. Track 18. Engine 4402. Ready for departure.
what kind of bunny rabbit I slowed down for. Uh -huh. Well, would have gone for road kill, but rabbit's not in season. You're buying. Hmm. Okay, yes. Thank you. Hey, anything hey. shaken? <laughs> no, nothing for us. Mm. Did you hear about Philpot? No. <sighs> Broke his wrist at lunch. Oh, no. Yep. You did it? No. Boxing at the Harlem Athletic Club. There's something for your evening. Four four zero two track eighteen. Slow to upcoming side rail to allow northbound passing. Listen, this is four four zero two. We don't slow for anyone. I got a dozen of your people, and I want the tracks cleared to Stuttgart. Got it? Who is this? Your worst nightmare. Northbound fifty zero seven. Emergency. Slow for spur. Slow for spur. I'm switching you in 500 meters. Bremen Lokal. Etwas stimmt nicht mit 4402. Etwas ist passiert mit 4402. We don't flinch. Shit, Alex. They've just found two bodies in Bremen and Rail Yard. 4402, what do you want? I want your complete attention, your undying cooperation, and your firstborn. And I want a clear route to Stuttgart or I start killing hostages. Do you understand me? The route's yours. Thank you. Sabrina, hey, check this out. Bremen again. Two in a row in a sleepy town. Find out the train's cargo. Yes. Look, will you please inform your Commander-in-Chief that UNARCO's broad range of power has been sanctioned by the United Nations General Assembly and the Security Council, and... No, just the freedom to run my own operations. Look, could I get back to you, please? Thank you so much. Goodbye. Diplomats. Wouldn't that imply diplomacy? Ours is a strange language, Sahib. You better see what's going on. I trust this isn't another attempt to get yourself out in the field, Miss Carver. Actually, I was just on my way out. After that phone call, some of us may be joining you. The Germans have a hijacked train moving from Bremen to Stuttgart, and possibly unrelated, a plutonium theft nearby. Twelve hostages, two dead rail employees. There's been radio communication with the hijackers. Let's request a tape recording, Miss Sanchez. Let's run a voice print. How much plutonium? I don't know. Well, let's pray it's not a trigger quantity. But right now, these are strictly German problems. You know how they are. What if the train crosses a border? Will we take over? Wishful thinking, Miss Carver. I can switch him anywhere you want, but he might not want to go. He's on our train. He will go where I send him. Give me a spur line. There's a long one coming up out of Roshan. 
Send him there. France! What was that? I think we left the main line. Yeah, we damn well have. Look, I know where we're going. Stop this thing. They know. They're stopping. No matter. My men are there. Yo, we should have had a coronary by now, anyhow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pass it close. You want to do it? Nein. 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 Open the door. Who's there? Nein. Nein. Who's there? Nein. Nein. Who's there? Nein. Nein. A hostage has been executed. Oh, fuck. You like that? Clear me to Stuttgart. Jerk me again, and two die. Now this screen's directly linked to the Bremen police. How's the voice print coming? Mm, no criminal record on this clown. So far. Your words tonight. Isn't that a Midwestern accent? Your words hmm. tonight. Where's he going? Nobody seems to know how much plutonium's been taken. Your What's that? Tonight. Damn. That's a direct link to Bremen's incoming data. Where did that originate? New York here. Leipzig. He's the department that has smuggled out the plutonium. That's how they classify it. They don't know its source, but they sure want to know if it's for real. Ms. Sanchez, prepare a review of all available field agents. Sounds good. Sounds real good. Phone. Chairs ringing. Why did I get the phone? Hello? Michael? It's Malcolm Philpott. Huh? What? Oh, hold on. That's better. Who's this? It's Malcolm Philpott. Phil, man. <laughs> How are you? Can't complain. Michael, is that the sound of bluegrass I hear in your voice instead of Eaton? Well, the locals still call me the bread. Of course, not to my face. Of course. Well, Michael, it's been a while. Uh huh. You're not going to remind me of. Uh... Klaus? Do I need to? Phil, 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 please, listen, I, I've been working on this bike for over a year now for Daytona. I mean, qualifying's tomorrow. Michael, would I call in a favor unless I needed it? What's that? I can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying. Say that again. Then turn her off. Ah, uh, look, Phil, why don't I get back to you in a couple of days, OK? Michael, Europe will be gone. Oh, really? Yes.
There'll be a private jet waiting at the Lexington Airport. Where are we headed? First New York and then Munich. Bring work clothes. And Michael. After this, we'll be even on Laos. Is that your ex-wife? Worse. Okay, it's confirmed. No other law enforcement or news agency received that mysterious bomb message on their computers. Bloody lucky. No point in frightening half of Europe before they finish breakfast. Keep searching, Miss Sanchez. Uh, there, yes. Now, now, he's new, Rodenko. Another Russian? Politics, we leave at home. The Major also happens to be a former railway engineer, our only one. So, Rodenko, Whitlock, physicist, Ochinsky, combat chopper pilot, and Graham. Who's Graham? He's a former business associate from my SAS days. Well, that will fill the bill. However, I do foresee the need for an information analyst, expert marksman, linguist. Sir? Get packed. Временская полиция должна уже получить эту информацию. Должен ли он уничтожить? Конечно. Давайте посмотрим, что получится. So you made it. I just sat back and sipped mint juleps. Hey, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> Good. Yeah. What do you do? Fall out of your easy chair? The noble art. Ah, let me guess. You, you should, should see, see the, the other, other guy. guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Why they got here? Your secretary? No. You old fart. Your girlfriend? No. You're a teammate. No. Sir, they've completed the radio patch to the hijackers. Splendid. Hello? Hello, someone there. If you can hear me, I would like you to look upon me as your mediator. My goal is to help resolve your problems. How Christian! If you care to look at it that way. Oh, by the way, my name is Malcolm Philpott. What's yours? Ah, uh, Elvis Presley. Look, when I get to Stuttgart, we'll talk then. All right, Malcolm? Just because Batoning's been taken and a phantom message says there's a bomb doesn't mean that there is. The message mentioned Leipzig and the stolen reactor waste. Well, why bother to build it? Why not buy one off the Ukrainians or the, 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 the Chinese? Perhaps it is an end run, the least likely source. We have to assume it's for real. Is that so? Then why doesn't he just fly it there? It's a lot faster. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe he's afraid of flying. Right. Can I have a word with you? Uh, look, uh, I'm not uh, questioning your judgment, but uh, she's kind of iffy. You are questioning my judgment. Okay, okay. It's just that uh, going into a situation, I like to know I can count on people. Meaning? She's too good looking to be anything more than window dressing. Michael, Miss Carver speaks four languages. She runs a mile faster than you ever did. She's the best marksman I've ever known. 
Mm-hmm. Out of range. What about combat? That's why you're here. If you don't think there's a bomb, why don't we get the train's radiation signature from a military satellite? Good idea, Sabrina. Elevated radiation levels in the first car confirm the presence of fissionable material on the train. At least not a wild goose chase, huh? Is he slowing? No. Now what? You are the UN observers? Malcolm Philpott, UNARCO. UN anti crime. You can observe from over there. Excuse me. What is your name? Captain Wolf. Captain Wolf, I understand your reluctance to relinquish command, but if you confer with your superiors, you'll find that I have been authorized to lead this response. Since when do you people tell a German anything on his own soil? Since 2 AM. A dispatch. Route me to Zurich. You running the board? Yes, sir. Route him on line 42 through the country. These are German hostages. It is our problem. Miss Carver, patch me through to New York. Yes, sir. There is a crucial bit of information that you don't know. What information? Hold those people! What information? The hijackers may have an atomic bomb on the train. May I speak to Hoffman, one? Herr Mayor? Yeah. Hauptmann Wolf. Hier ist ein Engländer. Philpott. Er sagt, dass. Passen Sie mal auf, Hauptmann Wolf. Die Vereinten Nationen übernehmen. Ach so. Ja, Herr Mayor. Ja, ja. Thank you. Major Rodenko, Lieutenant Kolchinski. I'm Malcolm Philpott. Welcome. Sir, we're uplinked. Major Gennady Rodenko. Sabrina Carver. There will be no calls without my authorization. I was just calling my wife to let her know. Yes, look, let me make this very clear. No one will know about this bomb. You will talk to no one. You will not leave this room unless I approve it. We're in a state of martial law here. And I'm the marshal. Welcome to the West. And where is deputy, sir? Drivers, damn. Dr. Whitlock. Yes. I am Dr. Peterson, uh, chief of surgery. Good to meet you. Well? Karl Leitzig is highly irradiated. He has extensive DNA breakdown. <sighs> he received over 2,000 REMS. How long has he got? Perhaps 48 hours. Oh, hell. Rosie, you gotta look past your bank account. Oh, I never trust banks, Alex. Wait, this isn't about money, it's about patriotism. See, I'm an American. I love my country. America's lost right now. See, we define ourselves by who we hate, right? And uh, no matter what you say, the USSR was a very worthy opponent. You know, this new world order thing? Can't use that. No, once you know who you hate, everything works. Yeah. You handled your first obstacle well. Yeah, right. Well, you gotta let him know who's boss. Now we adjust our procedure. I will initiate all telephone contact with you. I will keep you informed. Yeah, right. I'm C.W. Whitlock. Physicist. I've never made an atomic bomb before, but I often wondered if I could. It's demanding, isn't it? Where's the train? Just past Stuttgart. Where's it going? I'll just hang out here for a while, okay? 
Well, of course, the German government are happy just to let them chug on until they reach Switzerland, but the Swiss are demanding action before they reach the border. A wise idea, sir. Excuse me, the hijackers just received a phone call from Munich. We didn't expect it. We missed getting anything. Oh, damn it. I hope you're tuned in now. Yes. Good. So, Miss Carver, stay with us. It is to be gas, somatol. Subdue his motor reflexes for about two hours. I would recommend it. Uh, Phil, sleep and gas in the public don't mix too well together. Ziggy, any unpopulated areas before Zurich? Uh, only one. The train will be there in 40 minutes. Good. Excellent. The German military have agreed to back us. Lieutenant Kolchinsky, you will fly Michael and the Major. Yes, sir. Miss Carver, are you familiar with the M203? Very. Well, we'll use that grenade launcher to crack some gas into the locomotive. Wait a second. Uh, she's going to shoot gas canisters into the window of a train going 70 miles an hour? Yes, she is. Look at a situation here that could make Chernobyl look like a pop gun, and she's point man. Point person. Hey, no, enough. She has backup, sir? Yes, you. Helicopter launch rockets. Yay! All right, Phil. All right. Michael, mm -hmm. you can't call me Phil in this group. What do you want me to call you? Sir, would be appropriate. All right. Let's do it. Don't let the boys' club bother you. What if I miss? You can't. CW. Malcolm, you've been boxing with the brothers again? I tell you about that. You all right? I'm fine. How's Leipzig? He's dying, but he's got some time before he slips into the grave. And he's not a big talker, I'm afraid. Is there anything we can do? Sure. Run another check on all of his acquaintances, you know, his friends, his lovers. I need some leverage. Will do. If we can determine the amount of flute he stole, that'll give us some idea of the size of the gadget that we're dealing with, all right? But what I can't figure out is who would send the message about the bomb unless it was one of Lysak's friends. Perhaps it was an enemy. Vlak je prošao 48. paralelu sjeverno, 9. paralelu istočno. Kreće se prema jugu. Tutli. Хорошо. Скоро ми будем за Германію. Генерал, Бременская полиция видео расследование по делу доктор Карл Лейцик. А по видно он жив? Лейцик живой. Но у него неприятности, потому что он убил меня. Генерал? Авария лаборатории облучила меня тоже. Ефретов Кузнецов. Пожалуйста, товарищ генерал. Вы будете делать как Тибруцию? Для советской истории. Лайцик не важен для нас. Идите в больницу, прикончите его. Мы не должны подвести Александра Терни. Straight, we can make Istanbul, maybe more.
near me. Gas! 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 Gas!
charcoal pyre of twisted metal is all that remains of the elite German unit. Speculation as to the hostage's safety continues as the train approaches Zurich, having crossed the Swiss border 30 minutes ago. Now we go live to Freight 4402, entering Zurich. The identity or goals of the hijackers remains a mystery. Hey, look! Oh, my God. What we've just witnessed is an execution by one of the... No, we're waiting for official word, but it appears to have been a cold-blooded retaliation for the German military's earlier attempt to take control of the train. To as promised. This obviously confirms the hijack. But no mention of the bomb. At least we keep that secret. I should have known they'd have gassed you. You're too well prepared to ignore Aren't you ashamed? I told you I'd kill two if you screwed with me again. Killing hostages will make no difference. It's stupid, you're a fool! <laughs> hey, what happened to mediating, Malcolm? You're not taking sides now, are you? Uh, dispatch, route me to Belzano, Italy. Junctions of two kilometers. Belzano. All right, and uh, Malcolm, try to calm down. You couldn't have known. I'll tell the dead. I thought I knew him. Phil, sir, Angola. You remember Angola? This guy fought in our unit. We fought with this guy. I don't remember his name, but I swear he's a mark. Maybe. Scarver, have you learned to narrow his search to the mercenary database? Yes, sir. Know thy enemy, sir? Right. If he is a mercenary, he'll never blow himself up for ideals. He's in this for the money. He'll never detonate that bomb. Another assumption. Examine the route between Zurich and Bolzano. Maybe the Alps will give us an opportunity. Yeah. Sir. Sure. Reminds me of blind dates I've had. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Hold it. Probability of a match. Not bad. Tierney. Alex. From the dead high checker, we shut off the train. Yeah. There aren't many R4 South African. We know it's a fine weapon. Most governments don't do business with them. We're checking the serial number with the manufacturer to find out who purchased this little gem. And then we follow the money. Somebody has to be financing those hijackers. Mr. Philpot. Ah, and there we are. Alex Tierney, mercenary, out of Miami. Works for anyone. Look at that. I could beat that on one cylinder. Oh, my call. There's always Sebring or Watkins Glen. We've gotten the OK from the Swiss and Italian governments. Splendid. Now, as discussed, the train's route takes it through one alpine tunnel, 10 kilometers long. We stop Tierney there. We block both ends with locomotives once Tierney's inside. An Italian rail crew's on its way to rip up track deep in the tunnel. All right. Isn't what we're doing more important than whizzing in a circle? Sigi, we'll need direct radio communication with the Italian rail crew. Michael, please. And if the bomb detonates, well, then the effects will be minimized by the tunnel. I swear this guy Tierney won't set it off. What if the control is in someone else's hands? I mean, it could be. Then our mission will be over. The bomb will be dealt with. At its present rate, 4402 is about an hour from the Swiss head of the tunnel. And there you have it. Mm-hmm.
Да. Да, удачи, господин. Генерал, он подтвердил их следующий шаг. Тунель! Сейчас мы подали лужка и голки. Yeah. Collect insurance, kilometer 842. Got it. 10-4, good buddy. Sir, headquarters just called. Tyranny Cellular received a nine-second call. Not enough time to trace its origin. Outside support, thank you. Ziggy, what's the status with the Italian rail crew? Sir, 4402 slowing. What? Yes, the hijackers are slowing. Passo! 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 Just an old pine grade. It's yard 842. A supply yard. Damn. Go! No, let's go! I got it. I'm shot. Italian military. Maybe they're already inside. Nah, uh, they're Italian. They're late. How are they? Let's go. Come on. Still, Paul, we don't see our Italian backup. We're moving in. Diggy, the blip behind Tierney is our rear blockade. Yes, sir. They won't be leaving the way they came. And why isn't our Italian locomotive moving to blockade the other end? Italian dispatch. What's the status of your locomotive? Italian locomotive. Near Tirano tank. Over. Over. front of you. Stop the train. That's Mr. Tierney, if you please. There's no way out. We'll see about that. <laughs> Two half lengths! Two half lengths! Bring 
The bomb didn't go off. Let's not let failure go to our heads. Yes, Philpot. Sir, we got an ID from the South African manufacturer on the hijacker's weapon. It was purchased on a standing Russian military account. Russian? What branch? Spetsnitz. No names on the requisition. See if they'll tell you who's authorized to use. What's it like on the train? Always two men with guns, watching the bomb. They never fed us. Yeah, well, we'll get you some grub soon, Ernest. Listen, tell me something. Did anybody tinker with it? Tinker? He busted. No, the leader only studied the outside. There's a locked telephone keypad. Detonation code could be ended right there. Maybe it's a phone. Somebody could call it, like a fax machine. So? Chorney wouldn't blow himself up, but someone else would. No, 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 he wouldn't let that happen. No, Mike, Chorney doesn't have a clue. 
He doesn't know. So despite valiant efforts, Freight 4402 continues south with its cargo of hostages. Brian Poole, BBC, Milan. Кто мог подумать, что один русский бунтар мог теперь вернуть Запад вниз головой? Рождение Советского Союза начинается здесь. Можно наружить молчание? Нет, нет, Ефретор, мы разыграем наедине. Когда мы переделаем границу Советского Союза, наши военные в командовании возьмет контроль. Теперь тише. И представьте ваши... Hijack train 4402 is proving to be a law enforcement nightmare. Repeated attempts to overpower or outsmart the hijackers have failed, leaving a trail of bodies along the track. While the train... I just received an inventory of materials unaccounted for from the plant. How good a bomb builder are you? Hmm? You tell me. A sloppy scientist would use that much plutonium to make one bomb. Or he could be a craftsman to make two. Somewhere in the Alps near the Italian border. Ziggy. Oh, thanks. There's a great deal of poetry and fine sentiment in a cup of tea. I hope there's also a lot of caffeine. Mr. Philpot, I've got Graham. Yeah, Philpot. You page, Buona? Hello. More or less. Your team's chowing down. Hey, Michael. It's your team, too. Oh, the hijacker's weapon search seems to have paid off. Unfortunately, there may be a problem with at least one of the Russians. No kidding. My team? All right, all right. I think this whole hijacking is being financed out of Moscow. Hmm. Brings new meaning to the term Russian roulette, eh? Do you want me to split them up? No. I'll keep a close watch. All right. Good luck. Good. What did Philpot say? We tail the train. That's all? Got in a pot in the bud. Can't you find a way to just trust me? I don't know what you're talking about, sweetheart. The name's Sabrina. What are you holding back, Mike? Not a thing. I tell it like it is, and it's like this. I'm running this field operation. Would you care to sit down? No, sir. OK. You going to just stand there? E la carta di prendermi in giro? Non Hey, 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 speak English. Si pensi di funzionare come il porto, e io parlerò come ti sentirò io. Porco? What's that, pork? Pig? Dispatch? Dispatch! This is dispatch? Help me to trips, all right? Arrange for a doctor with supplies. Mr. Tierney, where do you want him? I'll let you know. Global News Network, Munich. International Affairs Producer. This is the Global News Network. International Halloran. I want you to know that they have been hiding the facts. Freight 4402 is carrying a nuclear bomb. Who is this? I'll call again. You're not going to believe this. Guys. Cream, no sugar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Malcolm. Sir. CW, hang on. It's GNN. 
They want to know if there's a bomb on the train. Just cover it up. Yes, CW, sorry. Uh, Leipzig's wavering. I asked him about the possibility of two bombs. I'm playing hardball. Could backfire. <laughs> yeah. Coming, Franz. There is no such number. Please consult your international operator. Oh, man. Brennan gave us a bogus number. I can't even call out. He's left us to die. You're not gonna die. <laughs> situation remains unanswered. The identity of the hijackers is unclear, but reports confirm at least one of the killers is an American. One German hostage has managed to escape. Carl, why the hell did you do this? Raining promised unlimited money. If I made him a bomb, it was an excuse. And I used it as an excuse, just to see if I could do it. But then... He demanded another bomb, and that's when I was irradiated by his inferior equipment. Did you finish the second one? Uh, yes. Who is this Benin? General Konstantin Benin. It was he who sent the killer. And where is he now? I don't know, but get him, and I will tell you anything. Yeah. È grave, molto grave. What? No, English, English. He'll die unless he gets full medical care. Alex, I want, I want off. No, 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 stay. I need you. Uh, no, not if I won't drive. Jenny. Catch him off! What? I've just talked to my people, and we can offer you a deal. You're right. Now, now listen. You're uh, about to cross into Slovenia, and you haven't committed any crimes there. So just give up, and they will let you walk. Okay. 
Thank you so much for your concern, Malcolm, but I don't think so. But, but really, thank you for offering. Mr. Tierney, you stay on that train. You're a dead man. So, how'd you get to be such a crackerjack shot? Do you really care? I bet you are army. Biathlon, skiing and shooting for the U.S. Olympic team. We got a medal? Bronze. Whee! Going again? No. I have another career now. Uh, what's that? Sergey? Our Russian man is narrow, rude, and charmless as our redneck gentleman farmer here. Redneck? What is redneck? Hey, I was only getting some background information on you. If I'd asked him the same questions, do you think he'd get into such a tizzy? You know, I know that Phil Pot thinks you're great, but I can't imagine why. Well, Sabrina, that's why you ain't boss. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on, kid. Mike, I saved your ass in that boxcar. Bet you did. But I bet before this gig's over, I repay the compliment. God, you are so arrogant. Hey, remember, only the young die good. Go for it. Leipzig's confirmed it. He made two bombs, both for a General Konstantin Benin. Good. Good work, Doctor. Thank you. Dispatch, I want Belgrade. Switching to Belgrade. That routes you through Slovenia. Good news, bad news. We are all on headset, sir. There are two devices. Two. Now, we don't know where the second one is, but it's probably not on the train. Any change in plans? I think that Tierney is considering our deal. Keep following the train, but give him room. Go put out. Sir, Yolanda on the coded phone. Miss Sanchez. Every Russian officer authorized to use that weapons account checked out, except one. Oh, now let me guess. General Konstantin Benin. Right. Where's Benin now? Nobody knows, not even the Russians. Thank you, Miss Sanchez. On your mind. So we were wondering, uh, does Tierney know that the gadget might have a remote detonator? Well, it's worth tossing around. But all of the bashing he's been taking, he must be pretty well roasted by now. All right, well, you keep playing the mind games and we'll tail him through Slovenia. Will do. Uh huh. Phil Pods knights to years two bombing. And he's knights, could ye? Yeah. Public Affairs. It's Sabrina. Run this number. The identity of the hijacker. Okay, it's from a payphone in Zagreb. Got it. But reporting to 
Find out the last number called. Rodenko was the one who made it. A private call? Yes. I gotta go. Okay? Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Remain somewhat of a mystery. Thinking of quitting? No, I'm on course. Radienko tells me you're negotiating with the police. Fuck you, you commie sack of shit. You dumping out on me. I, I can't even call you. What's your phone number? That's for security. Now you stay loyal. You understand? Now what's your goddamn phone number? Hey, driver! Driver! Tierney. Screw you! I was just wondering, did you know that your bomb can be detonated by remote? Just a phone call. If we knew who was behind this, we could block any incoming call. But I'd like to bet that you can't take that bomb off the hook. Hello, Ron, please. Hello, Ron. The bomb. It is a three kilogram plutonium construction. The plutonium was stolen from the Norden nuclear power plant by Dr. Karl Leitzig, who also built the bomb. It is on freight 4402. I will reveal its destination in due course. Hey, who is this? Are the facts clear? Yeah, I got him. Captain Crunch, take us closer. What are you doing? Evaluating. We will all die sometime. Oh, Carl, Carl. Give me a break. We're trying to save lives here. <laughs> Very well. The most difficult thing is the nuclear trigger. My hardest task was to make sure that they produce an absolutely symmetrical detonation. General Benin of the triggers, they were 1990s Soviet designs, yeah? And that keypad? Enters the detonation code. And after one minute, poof. It is irreversible. Once the bomb starts, only I can stop it. So how do you disable those triggers? Uh, uh, Dr. Whitlock, I must save something. Otherwise, you'll just leave me to die. A bomb on the train. GNN's Roger Flint reports from Italy. Unconfirmed reports have suddenly escalated the situation on hijacked freight 4402, now in Slovenia. GNN believes there is a homemade nuclear bomb on board the train. All right. Allegedly constructed no by one's screwing with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The actual construction of the bomb seems to have been carried out somewhere in Germany oh. by what must have been a team of nuclear... That changes the game. Sir, they pinpointed the number of the payphone calls Sabrina sent in. Munich. But Anka called Munich. So cellular listed to Blumen aus Deutschland. No exact address. Tell the Munich police. Keep it monitored. How long are we going to follow this maniac? Until we're ordered otherwise. I don't think Sir Philpott is capable of making a decision. But you are. You know, go chop off Philpott here. People? How are we holding up? Oh, just preaching. Sir, 
Out in the field, it is apparent we need to make a more aggressive stance. Oh, Miss Carver, that call you made proved to be unfriendly. Got it. Good hunting. No butt out. Bonsinski! Land us on the roof of the last car. No! Listo! To the zone! They'll kill us, Rodenko! They won't kill me. Что он будет делать? Это что я мне за начать, генерал? Готово. Хорошо, запись. The hijacking of Freight 4402 was my doing. The building of a nuclear bomb was my plan. It was not my intention to arm Iraq. It was my intention to revive the Soviet Union. When the last coup failed, nerve failed. But when the world hears that a nuclear bomb is in the hands of Iraq fanatics, then the Russian army will be forced to invade to recover the bomb for Russian security. And then, with our army mobilized, our nerve will not fail, and there will be a new union, a military union. Damn sure will. Hey, Phil Park. Dispatch. This is the Global News Network. Is this Phil Park? What about my offer? No, listen, this is my demand. I want everybody on Earth to know that I've got this bomb. So here's what you're going to do. You get GNN. I want GNN on this train. And we'll show the world that I'm not bluffing. Okay. GNN, you mean a reporter? Yeah, right. Yeah, that uh, curly-haired dude, that cocky guy. What's his name? Fascinated by the awesome destructive power of nuclear weapons. Roger Flint? Roger Flint, right. Yeah, I want Roger Flint on the train. I'll pick him up in Belgrade. 
Ride your flame. <laughs> no, no, he never saw me. First I had on a gas mask, and then in the tunnel it was too dark. All right. GNN's Roger Flint has agreed to do it as long as he gets an exclusive. And so, Miss Carver, you ought to be his camera person. Fill part out. Miss Yamamura, what's the word on Benin's phone line? Munich police have a good lead. We need more than that. You know about video cameras. <sighs> How hard could it be? Hi, you Pierre? Hi. Mike Graham. Is this thing still going to take pictures? Certainly. You get one shot. It's for me. Just one. Best we can do if you want video. Stealth video. Yeah. As I wait for the approaching train, I can say with certainty that I have never covered a story like this. Yugoslav army troops stand ready should the hijackers provoke an armed response. Though I've been assured that What did you step in, Crunch? I hear it. Just quit flicking your foot around, all right? She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Now release the vacuum advance in number two. All right, I'll meet her when she comes. Right, I got it. Lightning, mission in. It's coming in too fast. Here it comes. Freight 4402 approaching us now at Belgrade Station. It appears to be having difficulty stopping. Brake. Brake harder. Yeah, I can drive this thing. Hijackers are motioning us toward the locomotive. I can see Dr. Sarah Fomenigan held at gunpoint by hey, Alex Tierney. I recognize you. I'm Roger Flint. Right, Roger Flint, TNN. Who's that? Lois Dobbs, TNN video. Come on. Watch your head. Crunchy, you okay? Yeah. I thought you wanted to show Shut up! Keep moving, it's in there. It's right here, Roger. Fine, good. Is that on? Uh, not yet, Roger. Turn it on. Get this in the shot. You got this in the shot? Yes, sir. And we hope within moments to uplink with Roger Flint live aboard Freight 4402. The train. <laughs> All right, good. Go ahead. You ready to uplink, Lois? Yes, sir. Three, two, one. We are now inside Freight 4402, heading southeast. Next to me is Alex Tierney, leader of the hijackers. Our Geiger counter confirms that there theory. is indeed radioactive material within this ominous steel box. I would speculate that the guarded nature of law enforcement response... Right. Whatever. Hello, world. This is uh, Mondo Tierney. <laughs> uh, I have the bomb. And I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to blow myself up before being taken prisoner. Now, I'm not insane, and I'm not acting alone. This is a covert operation designed to re <laughs> Bullshit. 
trench. One man, the front. We got some wounded down here. Hurry with medical. On its way, Michael. The speed I need. situation here. Bombs counting down. CW, I need the defusing sequence now. Carl, it's counting down. Technical difficulties. Sequence. Number. Carl, do you understand? It's counting down. In this order only. Black. Blue. Malcolm. Green. Black. Yellow. Blue. Green. Black. Yellow. Blue. Green. Yellow. Four. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty. Orange. Orange, Michael. Orange. Yeah, yeah, I got that. There's two left. Who the? Who wait, wait. Orange. White. Red. Carl, are you sure? No. Eight. It's probably white and red. Probably. White. Six. Red. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Camera working? <laughs> We're hoping to regain our uplink with Roger Flint and his crew inside the train. Kadica. Prekroj naši puti. Se skici komnatu. Ah, we can see activity outside one of the box cars. Michael? Our glass is only half empty. Oh, really? How's that? Well, Benin's second bomb needs your attention. Now? Well, I can think of no better time. You and Miss Carver will be picked up in five Congratulations. minutes. Congratulations. Well done. Destination, Munich. Miss Peachy. Miss <sighs> Peachy. Oh, huh? mm. come on. It's not that bad, for God's sake. You got two legs. <laughs> no longer a catastrophic threat. No longer a rolling hell. The death train waits empty. German railway official. Yes, thank you. Mr. Philpott, the phone company's completed the tap on Ben and Cellular. Excellent. One second from oblivion. For every living thing within miles, it came down to that one critical second. Authorities have just confirmed that the bomb car lights it constructed would have indeed detonated. Um, Radioactive contamination Carl. has certainly ravaged all What of about them. the second bomb? Rough estimates on loss of life from the blast, up to five Carl. million people. And from the fallout and subsequent radiation, another 20 Carl. million people. Many of those casualties would have suffered burns, blindness, and eventually cancer. Here we go. On speaker. Iraq. General, if you are watching GNN, you know the second device is reliable. 
My people in Iraq will take delivery. Meet me at 34 Zentlingerstrasse in one hour. I will have it. Sign sealed and delivered. Philpott calling you Narco One. You Narco One. Go ahead. Philpott. I'm faxing you a firm location for Benin's Exchange. It's a residential district in Munich. How'd you get it, sir? Of Benin's cellular. Munich police are covering you. Just make it. Sir, he'd never do that. I beg your pardon? Benin knows we have his number. It's got to be a bluff. It's all we have. You just be there. If I bought a bomb, I'd fly it out. Fast. Oh, are you done, the chief? Raul? Yeah? How many airports around Munich can handle private jets? Besides the international? One. Let's go there. OK. No way. No, 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 no way. Get permission. Yeah, well, we're on a snipe hunt. Snipe? What's that? Damn, did I know. Ten years in Kentucky, and I never saw one. You know, I remember. I think it was Panama. It was this hot shot lieutenant and he had wait, all this kind wait, of... Wait, wait, shh! Well? You were lucky. I was smart. That's a Russian uniform. Oh, uh-huh, okay. found them. Just like I said, we're gonna lay low until we get back up, okay? Give me your exact location. out of here now. the rear door.
Sabrina! I think it's got the same diffusing sequence. I don't know. I gotta believe so. Black, blue, green. Oh, God. Whoever is hearing this, I give you the rest of your life. Come in, will you? Damn it, what is going on? Miss Carver, somebody answer. Michael. What a night. <laughs> what a day. I wonder who won Daytona. <laughs> 